today's video guys i'm going to show you how fortnite pro players lower their input delay here in fortnite chapter 3 season 3 i'm first of all going to show you a super simple registry tweak which is going to reduce the communication time between your computer hardware and your system guys making sure that you have less input delay and then afterwards also a tool which i utilize on a daily base and a bunch of other registry tweaks which are going to overall help you to get the least amount of input delay if you guys enjoyed this content please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would would so so much and without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic and yeah guys what i want you to do now in the first place is click on the first link in the description where you can find my website and here on the top guys we have fps boost input delay storage resolution and even block guys and what you want to click on in the first place is actually input delay then you should get redirected to a brand new site and here on the top guys should be a post with exactly the same name and the same thumbnail as the video you're watching right now again click onto it you should get redirected again just simply scroll down until you can find this download button which is going to redirect you to google drive from where you can zip download a zip file guys if it's not a zip file it's probably part of an ad guys so therefore yeah what you want to look for guys is the registry tweaks and input delay pack season 3 and what you want to do in the first place is right click onto it and actually extract it all here onto our desktop and one of the files which is in this pack guys is called registry tweak and what you're going to do is open it up and in there now you can see exactly the location in the registry where we're going to change this one comment prom which is going to give us a lot less input delay and you can already see here computer hk local machine system current control set control session manager power and in there should be something which is going to be called coalescing timer interval and once we actually open this up ourselves guys this is exactly how it should look like and i already created here the following value which is going to be called coalescing timer interval and if it's not in here guys it's exactly how it should be because yeah usually this isn't in there but what you want to do is just simply right click here guys click onto new and then you should see dboard 32 bit value just simply create a new one and name it exactly like this here coalescing timer interval as mentioned it's also in the file itself you can see the exact name and yeah once you actually get it i'm just going to delete this one here it should look exactly like this here coalescing timer interval and this is everything you guys gotta do just simply put it in here and windows knows this already because this was in previous windows versions something like windows 7 or even previously so therefore just simply leave it in there guys close it restart your pc and then you're going to come back to this guide and then guys in the next step we're going to take a look at one of the most important tools which i utilize on a daily basis, which is fan control and what's so super amazing about this program is you don't gotta have a fancy fan controller built into your pc or all your fans from the same brand to be able to control them this program picks up any fan which is built into your pc it doesn't matter literally like which kind of quality it is or if it's like a branded one it doesn't matter guys you can see even my pump fan from my water cooling is getting actually utilized in here and what i would recommend you guys is to actually put all of your system fans so at least something like 75 to 80 percent you can see it here all my fans are working actually at uh, like i don't know 75 percent and above my cpu fan even at a hundred percent guys because it's summer right now i don't know where you live but here in germany it's 35 degrees celsius yeah so therefore it's really hot and yeah just to make sure that your pc doesn't overheat rather have a little bit louder pc i would say than i don't know potentially damaging your components you know and your pc overheating because if your pc overheats you're also going to lose fps because the warmer your pc is the less fps you actually got guys so what you want to do is make sure to put all of your system fans you can see it for me it's four actually i put them all here onto 75 and 80 you know this one here is the one in the front i put it on 75 because that one got a little bit louder and what you guys only have to do is actually click here onto the switch you know then you're going to click here onto these three dots and go in there and type in manual control and then you can just simply slide it here around you know and i kept my front one here on 75 percent my other system fans on 80 percent my pump on 80 percent as well and my cpu fan on 100 percent guys and especially the cpu fan or even pump fan if you have like um a water cooling or whatever other cooler is super super important guys yeah because yeah the cpu is like the one which gets the hottest basically because you have so much hot air on one prestigious point so therefore guys please make sure to put it on a hundred percent i'm not even joking there especially in doing sound times super super important and yeah then you're just gonna leave this program here running actually all the time while you launch your pc and once you configured everything guys just simply click onto these three dots and make sure that you check start minimized yeah super super important guys then just simply gonna minimize it here and it's gonna automatically run in the background every time you launch your pc and you're just gonna make sure that your pc stays nice and cool so therefore you won't have additional stutter or fps loss because your pc is overheating and for the final part guys here in this pack we're actually going to go here onto windows users program disable and you can see in here guys we have something like windows 10 advanced explorer settings windows 10 disable automatic app updates windows 10 disable lock screen disable telemetry unnecessary services hide cortana hide onedrive then you have something also like uninstall unnecessary apps guys and what you want to do is just simply click through each and every single one of these here guys you can already see it in the background it's literally super super easy and 
what you're gonna do is just simply click on all of them here, especially something like Cortana or OneDrive, super important to disable these here. Then you're also gonna click here onto lower latency. This is just gonna make sure that your mice and keyboard are set to the lowest latency possible in your device manager. And then you're already fully chilling, guys. Yeah, this pack is super, super important. And I would recommend you to do this after each and every single Windows update. And yeah, guys, with that said, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.